So hi everybody, my name is Anita Massey and I'm the Director of Marketing for TriVista Companies and we're going to be joined today by John Shireman who is a TriVista partner and President of our Indiana and Kentucky region. So welcome John. Thank you Anita, <laughs> glad to be here. Appreciate you taking time. Sure. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of routine maintenance and preventative maintenance on your truck, um, why that's important and what different things that our TriVista service locations do in that regard. Um, so let's start by asking John, um, as a longtime dealer, uh, international dealer, what do you think are the top things that make our service departments run so well? Sure. So there are so many factors that are involved with running a successful service department. I would say the two main components are having best in class technicians mm -hmm. and you couple that with having a very dynamic management and admin team. So obviously the technicians are going to repair the truck and they need to do that in a timely manner. They need to do it right the first time and we ensure that takes place at all of the TriVista locations by making sure they're properly trained, whether that's factory training or outside vendor training, having them use the most technologically advanced tooling, whether that's actual tools or the diagnostic systems that we have in place. From a management and admin standpoint, they are responsible for the communication, which is so incredibly important when it comes to a service department. They have to keep the customer informed when that truck is going to be ready, um, and, and just as importantly, give them accurate estimates hmm. and accurately bill them in a timely fashion. So you put those two things together and you're going to have a solid service department. And again, we strive for consistency at TriVista among all of our locations, especially all the service departments. Right. And I know that it's critical, like you said, to have our um, service department communicating throughout the entire process with our customers. So I'm really anxious to hear what Joe has to say about all the different programs and processes that he has and all of our departments have um, regarding communicating with the customer throughout their service, de service department process. Sure. Um, well, why don't we go back into the service department and we'll meet with Joe and see what he's got going on today and maybe what some of the techs are working on. Sounds good. All right, thanks, John. You're welcome. So now we're back in the service department and we're going to be joined by Joe Morehouse, who is our uh, Louisville, Kentucky service department manager. Nice to have you, Joe. Thank you. Thanks for taking time out today. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so we just wanted to talk about uh, preventative maintenance and routine maintenance on the truck. So can you maybe talk about with the spring and warmer weather uh, coming up, what are some of the main areas that you guys typically like to do uh, routine maintenance on a truck? Yes, uh, we're always interested in making sure that the drivers are staying cool inside their cabs. Uh, we check the cooling system on the trucks just to make sure that the engine's not going to overheat. We, have, we also check the re remainder of the fluids, transmission, differentials as well. Mm -hmm. um, the cooling system is very important to make sure that you have fresh coolant in and that it is not wore out. Uh, then we also just do the basic inspections of making sure your tires are good, your brake shoes aren't wearing too thin because they do tend to get quite hotter during the summer whenever you are running down a hill. Okay. So are you still in, I know it's March, um, and of course we have locations in five different states, so the weather's different in five states, but are, is that typically the same type of routine maintenance that you would see across all of our locations? Yes, absolutely, especially with these trucks running across the country. They, they can be in extreme cold one day and be in 80 degree weather the next. Okay, perfect. Um, what about... Um, I know keeping the customers informed throughout the entire service process is a very big deal for our customers and we pride ourselves on being able to do that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what our process is and what platforms we use to do that for our customers? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we use a couple different programs. Um, we use i360, which is set up through uh, whether you buy, whenever you buy an international truck, you can log on for our online systems. What this does is anytime your truck is getting repaired, you are able to get live up updates whenever your truck gets checked in, triaged through the repair, and whenever your vehicle is complete, you get live updates as our service advisors update the status of your repair hourly. Okay, hourly. Uh, okay. Hourly. And is this a free service or is, is the customer charged for this or is it free? I360 is a paid subscription, okay. but it is very useful, and I would encourage people to look into it. Okay. We also have dedicated service advisors that, uh, as the status of your truck changes, whether estimates are needing approved 
or to gather payment, let you know that your truck is done, they do call you frequently to let you know. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm curious to see some of the work that we've got going on back in our service base. Do you have some trucks being worked on today that we could look at? Always. All right, let's go. Let's go take a look. All right. So back here in our service department today, Joe, what are we doing to the school bus? We are currently replacing the radiator on it. The transmission cooler had went out of it, which caused us to replace the entire radiator assembly. Got it. All right, very good. So I'm looking around. There's obviously a lot of trucks back here now, all different makes, all different models. So we will basically service about anything brought in if it's a truck. Is that correct? Absolutely. I know, we, yeah. We have the all makes parts as well, so we can procure the parts for the equipment. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good. If it rolls, we can work on it. That's cool. And for the customers, I know it doesn't, it's not as applicable to back here in the service department, but they can order parts online through repair link at all the TriVista locations. Yes, sir. Makes it easy for them. Very good. Um, technician wise, I know we don't have anybody working on this bus right now, but keep full shops, keep all the factory trained technicians. We do uh, in-house training some as well. Tell Tell us how you do the training for the technicians and among all the TriVista locations, how we do that. Yeah, so we gather our technicians and we provide in-house training. We get a base layer established before we send them out to Navistar and OEM manufacturer training at other locations. Okay. Uh, which sometimes they go across all across the nation to get this training and they are up to date on the latest and greatest products out there. Okay, very good. So speaking of technicians, uh, when we're hiring technicians at any of our locations around the country, what are we looking for? We encourage all technicians to apply. We love to be able to meet up with you and to discuss things that we are able to do. Uh, we are usually looking for class five to eight technicians that have experience. Okay, very good. Yeah. So Joe, it looks like we're doing a major overhaul here. Is that what Nate's got going on? Yes, sir. He is currently replacing all of the pistons in this engine right now. Uh, we are waiting on the cylinder head to get back. Mm -hmm. Once we get the cylinder head back, we will continue with reassembly of this engine. Very nice. And it's my understanding that Nate was voted best hair at our Louisville service department. Is that correct? Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Um, also, going back to our technicians, we talked about all the training that we provide. What's also pretty cool is once you get to that like top level, we have a technician rodeo, you know about that. We have it, you know, it, it goes between all the locations. We're hosting the tech rodeo here this year. Does that sound right? Yes, sir. So we're gonna showcase the best of the best. Whoever wins that is gonna get some pretty cool prizes also, right? Yes, sir, we're looking yeah. forward to it. Very good, very good. So that's one of the perks of being a technician at TriVista is you can participate in things like that. What are the, some of the other things that we offer? We offer great benefits. Okay. We offer a tool allowance here to reimburse technicians for tools purchased. We have great health care, 401k, and dental and vision as well. All right, good deal. And promotion-wise, so something for our customers, it's my understanding we'll do monthly promotions. I'm assuming those are out on our website, YouTube channels, social media, things of that nature as well? Yes, you can always find our online specials. Okay, very good. So Joe, I know getting an answer to a customer quickly on what's going on with their truck is important. And as a result, we have a dedicated accelerated service bay. Tell us how that works a little bit, please. Yeah, so a truck will come in, well, we will check it in there immediately. We will download a health report on the truck. We will analyze the fault codes to determine the repair path that this truck needs to take. We will get it into a bay within two hours to figure out what is wrong with it and determine the repair path from there. Okay, very good, thanks. So whether you need an immediate diagnosis or simply a routine preventive maintenance, trust any of TriVista's 13 locations to professionally handle your needs.